from gardening to animals to extreme renovations. Welcome to homesteading at College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Today we're planting pumpkins, uh, butternut squash, watermelon, and cantaloupe. Today we're going to plant watermelons, cantaloupes, butternut squash, and pumpkins. It's the first part of June, first week of June, and we're going to try and get these in the garden. Normally I plant my butternuts and pumpkins in the corn. But this year we're trying something different with our corn. We're planting in wide rows. Kind of cut down on the tilling. And there's a reason for that and you can if you follow my channel you know what the reason is. So we're going to go ahead and plant some pumpkins in with our watermelons, cucumbers, and uh, cantaloupes. So we've got to uh, over here in this row, there's our cucumbers, 100 foot row of cucumbers. Of course, it's pickling year, so we gotta have a lot of cucumbers. But we're gonna go down through here and put some pumpkins and stuff in. And let me bring you over and show you how we do it. How we plant pumpkins, squash, watermelons. They're all planted the same way. So let's go over here to the dirt. Here we are in our row. Now I want to make sure that this row is far enough from the cucumbers that I can drive between it with my tractor. Later in the year that won't be possible, but for the first part of the year, until the, the squash vines and the cucumber vines are established, they're going to need me to be able to keep them cultivated well, and cultivating them with a tractor is a heck of a lot simpler. So first off, we start off by pulling up a little hill of dirt. It's only about three inches taller than the rest of the surrounding dirt. Then I'm going to do butternut squash in this first hill. Now these butternut squash, we save our own seed. So I'm going to do these. As a matter of fact, this is the same size seed packet that I sent the folks from our Christmas seed giveaway, our winter seed giveaway. I'll explain about the winter seed giveaway in a second. So I'm going to drop four seeds there. Then I just take the tip of the hoe and put those in the dirt and lightly cover them. Now if all four of those germinate, what will happen is I'll cut, cut down two of them because I only want two vines to the hill. Now I'll mark this hill by putting a little fertilizer and I'll show you that in just a few minutes. So now I've got that one done I'm gonna move five feet down the row and do another one and I'm only gonna plant two hills of uh, butternut squash because they're prolific. I'll get 20 or 30 butternuts off these two hills. Okay? Well, apparently I lied to you. I planted three hills of butternut squash because I had four more seeds. So I just went ahead and put them in the ground. Now, I'm going to plant uh, watermelons for the next few hills. Probably three or four. Now, me and Crystal can just eat so many watermelons over the course of the year. Uh, there's, we don't have any way of storing them. Putting them in the freezer, they're just not good. They'd be all right put them in the freezer if we were going to make some kind of daiquiri or something out of them, but we don't do that. Uh, I don't drink sweet stuff. I drink uh, water. So now I've come over five feet from those squash and I'm going to start by putting in a watermelon. Now watermelon and cantaloupe are planted exactly the same. So and what variety of watermelon do I plant? I plant a seedless variety, so I have to buy the seed for my watermelons. Uh, that's okay. It kind of defeats the the homesteader lifestyle, but you know, I like seedless watermelons, and so does Crystal. So that's where we're at. So now, start off. Watermelon seeds are little black seeds, and I'll put 
five of them in a heel. Now once, and you only want to cover those, they're little bitty seeds, okay? The rule of thumb is when you're planting seeds like watermelon and squash and cantaloupe, uh, and my cantaloupe variety is Hale's best by the way, when you're planting these seeds, you only plant them to a depth as deep as the seed is tall. Okay, so these watermelons, that little seed's only about a quarter inch, so I only planted about a quarter inch deep. The, the squash and the pumpkins, the seeds are a lot bigger, so I plant them about an inch deep. All right, so I've got to get on down through this row and get all of it planted, and then I'll come back to you. Now, once I have the hills done, then I come back with a slow release pelletized, pelletized fertilizer, whether it's a 10-10-10 or 12-12-12. What I've got today is 12-12-12. And I dust that hill about like that. I'll do every hill that way. And when it rains, that'll put nitrogen into the ground. And then when they get up big enough till they start putting out runners, then I will come back and give it a side dressing of that again. So let me get these uh, fertilized and I'll come back to you. Okay, it's all in. What I've come up, what I wound up planting was three hills of butternuts. That'll probably give us 20 or 30 butternut squash uh, for, the, for the pantry. So we'll have butternuts all winter. Then I planted four hills of watermelon. Now, I don't know how many watermelon that'll give us. The last few years on this property, I haven't had a whole luck with a lot of luck with watermelons, but I hope it'll give us a few. Then I planted uh, six hills of uh, six hills of uh, cantaloupes, and then five hills of pumpkins. Now the cantaloupe, when it comes up, I'll limit it to three vines to the hill. The pumpkins, two vines to the hill. The butternuts, three vines to the hill. And the watermelons, three vines to the hill. Now, if you like this sort of stuff, this homesteading, do-it-yourself kind of thing, be sure to come on out to the channel and subscribe. If you uh, press this little icon right here, it'll take you to our channel, and it will allow you to uh, subscribe to our channel. It'll also show you our Facebook link where it shows you how to apply fertilizer. There's a, there's a chart on applying fertilizer and you can look at our video about how to do that. Now we do this homestead and stuff every week. Sometimes one video, sometimes five videos. Just depends on what's going on on the homestead that day or that week. So it's time for me to get on to the next thing.